because it's called shadows and us being smoking in the shadows we kind of have to smoke the shadow and of course a weird tasting cream this is way more smokable than a lot of a lot of other Gurkha out there rip the it's band off he doesn't want to listen so here you go that's the band I actually think that this color scene uh, I might as well do that yes that's Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sauce Assassin. Welcome to another cigar review that I am not looking forward to. Yes, today we are reviewing a cigar that I kind of have to review by default. All right, it is the Gurkha Ghost Connecticut Shadow. There you go. So, because it's called shadows and us being smoking in the shadows we kind of have to smoke the shadow and of course i cannot keep my trend up and bitch about gurkha cigar if i don't smoke them so unfortunately i had to smoke them and make sure it's still bad because i've seen videos out there that saying that it's getting better but i am adamant that it's bad so let's get to this detail a little bit so this cigar is a dollar five by 52 which is called the shadow they also have a asura which is a toro six by 54 which i also bought just in case and um they have a exorcist which is six by 60 that sh nobody should be able to smoke ever okay you should not be smoking it. now the factory is by pdr cigar which I am not fond of PDR cigar anyway. I used to buy them when I was a beginner. I haven't bought them for a long time. Okay. Wrapper is Ecuadorian, Connecticut. Binder is Mexico. Didn't say what it is. Okay. And filler is Dominican Republic, Nicaraguan, and USA. That combination already sounds weird as hell, but yeah. Yeah. So yeah, this just got released March of 2023. And I I'm gonna regret my decision very much. I'm pairing with black coffee, simple stuff, or water, depends on how I feel about this cigar. So let's get started. Mm. It smells kind of like cedar and graham cracker. Okay, well, it's gonna be weird then be weird. Cold draw. Okay, acceptable draw. Um. There's some sort of pepper that I try to go through. 
but it never really became spicy. There's a little bit, a little bit of woodsiness. Corn, maybe corn, and that cracker, grain cracker. Yeah, and and and, and base, and basically a little bit of cedariness ish. All right, let's light this up. Uh. Like not even my life lighter want to do that. Let me see. Uh, get a more powerful lighter today. All right, let's get it. Cranked up. There we go. Why is the bottom that doesn't want to get lit? Why? Why don't you want to lit? Okay. Let's get started. Make sure my fans are running. Fans, fans, fans. Yep, it's running. Oh, what? Wow. Um, corn, hay, barnyard. Something that just make my ear crack. Pepper. A lingering. Bitterness of some sort. A weird tasting cream. Uh, a little bit mineral. Oh, my nose. It's weird. It, there's a mineral in there. Hmm. All right, I had to smoke for one third. I just told you guys the notes. I, I... That lingers. Be right back. All right. <clears throat> to be fair, cigar has some good part. It puts out a lot of smoke. It's light. It's Connecticut. Now here's the bad part. It doesn't taste good. It tastes like a very super mineral Connecticut. I I think it does add another dimension to the Connecticut, but it's mineral. It's like licking on metals while you're smoking um, a Connecticut cigar. It has this baking spice of some sort that tried to get in there and has almost have a saltiness, but that's not what I want in a Connecticut. I want creamy. I want toasted nuts. I want coffee cream. Not coffee, but like cedarness. This thing is just mineral baking spice. Maybe grain cracker that ends with a bitter note. Maybe hay. Now, it doesn't have that overabundance of earthiness, but that, that mineral kills it. However, in comparison, this is way more smokable than a lot of a lot of other Gurkha out there. It's it's uh it's it's smokable. It's smokable. So yeah, now I'm, I'm gonna go towards second third ish, and then yeah, we'll talk about that. Be right back. Okay, second third. Now, I wanted to say that 
the mineral got even more. Like, it's even more of a mineral cigar. To a point, I almost don't feel like I'm smoking the Connecticut. It's, it's, I still have a lot of cigar output. I mean, smoke output. And uh, I think the biggest issue is that if, why I'm trying to take the bend off, it just died. I have to relit. So it doesn't sustain the smoke that well or temperature that well. Um, still doesn't taste that good. But like I said, it's an improvement. It's a lot better than the other cigar. And I think it's because the, the taste is lighter and doesn't have that abundance of earthiness to it. So anyway, I've tried to rip the band off. It doesn't want to listen. So here you go. That's the band. I actually think that this color scene looks pretty good. It caught my eyes. That's how I know there was a new ghost because the band actually looks, the color looks great. So props to Gurkha changing up the, the image a little bit, but I still don't understand why they had to put this guy there. So Oh, what is that? I just taste soap. Yeah. There's end notes of soap. Soap. That's so weird. That's weird as taste. Like a down soap. Kind of went away now, but that's definitely a point minus. To take the band off, you can see that, um, I don't know how, but th there's no line here, but it cracked. So it's going to be a very interesting last third. So let's finish that last third and I'll tell you what I think. <sighs> Even though you kind of already know what I'm going to say. <laughs> All right, we really can't. This thing is drying my mouth up. I almost feel like it's burning a little bit. So after it cracked, it cracked. So, mineral, mineral, mineral. The theme of the cigar, mineral. Uh, last third, even more mineral. It's just mineral. All I taste is mineral. Uh, I might as well go lick a piece of... I'm gonna, uh, I might as well do that. Yes, that's actually... This actually tastes better than that. So, uh, obviously, you guys know I don't like Gurkhas, and this definitely um, is not one I like. However... However, it's improvement. It got better. Not much better, but it's a smokable cigar up to a certain point. Um, up to probably halfway, a little bit more than halfway, when that m mineral metal taste just go wild. Okay, so in terms of how much I rate this cigar, I will rate it as... Between $5.50 and $6.75. That's how much I'm willing to pay if one of, if one of my friends needs one. <laughs> okay? Or if I want just want to screw him over. Say, hey, this is a great cigar. Try it. That's the only reason I'll buy this cigar. Uh, the only other reason is for review. That's the only thing. Okay? It's, it's not a good cigar. Uh, I should say it's not a great cigar. It, it doesn't have all those uh, nice notes and everything together. It's just not good. Not good. Um, but it doesn't say that it's not smokable. If you like mineral taste, you like you know those particular notes, you might enjoy it. In fact, I think that some of the Gurkha smoker who tend to smoke a stronger Gurkha will enjoy this in the morning. I tried it with the coffee. does not fit at all. It makes the coffee taste weird. It does not fit at all. So it doesn't work. All right. It doesn't work. It's not a coffee cigar. Um, it's a... Uh, I've seen a lot of companies recently try to... Uh, tweak a traditional Habano... Not Habano. Um, Connecticut into uh, something different. But I don't think any of those works, really. I don't I don't really how, see how it works. It doesn't give me a perfect coffee cigar. Creamy coffee cigar it does not give me that so i can't say this is a great morning cigar or a great cigar or cigar okay so yeah skip it unless you want to mess with some people or you just wanted the ban um other than that i can't 
I can suggest it. Oof. Anyways, that will be it for this particular review. I hope you like it. And then I uh, hope that save you a few bucks. Yeah. I hope this save you a few bucks so you don't have to spend the money on it. If you like it, make sure you like, subscribe, support it, uh, and, and, and share, um, comment. If you smoke the cigar and taste something else, go ahead and comment that. And um, other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm going to go smoke a better cigar now. Bye, guys.